It's another beautiful day in the Staffordshire countryside. Veteran air gun hunter Eddie Jones takes out young hunter field target hotshot Andy Watkins on one of his local permissions. Hello, I'm Eddie Jones, Air Arms Ambassador. Today I'm joined by young Andy Watkins and um, we're going to have a walk around uh, the woods for a few squirrels, maybe a rabbit, maybe a pigeon. Andy's an up and coming HFT shooter, so I've got to be on the wits today. We'll have a walk around Andy and see what's about. We've yeah. got a good chance of squirrels in most of the woods. Yeah, well, when, when we were just walking down here, saw a couple in the tree, so. Hopefully, we'll have a good day. Looking forward to it. Keen to get started, Andy soon spots a rabbit out in the sunshine and makes his approach. Using his finely honed target skills, Andy sets himself up to take the first shot, but narrowly misses. A second shot goes whizzing by and the rabbit has escaped for now. So we've got a rabbit behind us at the minute. Andy's took a shot at the rabbit and to be fair, the wind is howling out there. You don't realise how strong this wind is out there. so. It feels like it's coming towards us, but it's curving round. You can tell by the flight of this pellet, Andy knew straight away. So I'm going to go and have a go at stalking it. Eddie now steps up to the plate with his high power Air Arms Galahad, which should help to negate the effects of the wind. His shot connects perfectly. Eddie approaches with caution to ensure the rabbit has been dispatched, ready to take a follow up shot if required. However, it's a clean kill and the first rabbit in the bag. The guys take a stroll around the rest of the permission, searching for more pests. Eddie uses the Pulsar Quantum Light XQ30V to scan the canopy for any grey squirrels that might be hiding in the trees. Eddie is an experienced shooter with over 20 years in the field and knows exactly what to look for. Eddie spots a squirrel in a nearby tree and sets up Andy ready for the shot. Unfortunately for the squirrel, Eddie is lurking on the other side and quickly dispatches the tree rat. We were just walking down this bit of a woodland here, uh, woodland track, and I spotted a squirrel um, in these trees. Um, so I set up for the shot. Uh, Eddie came round to the other side of the tree in case it, it uh, bolted. Um, I missed, don't know what happened, could have hit a twig or maybe got the wind a bit wrong. Um, but luckily went towards Eddie, um, came up into a, a high tree, Eddie took the shot and dropped it nice and cleanly. It's a lot easier with two of you shooting. I walked round the back of the tree, so it was watching me then. It weren't bothered what Andy was doing, Andy was set up for the shot. It come over the branch and just showed itself to Andy. But we all miss, I've done it many a time and I'll do it many times again. It's just part of hunting, that's what keeps us going. But luckily for me, it's cut across and stopped on a nice clear, clear branch. I've took the shot looking over the branch and it's sitting perfect. Clean kill, that's what we're out for. Whilst Andy has certainly got the shooting skills, Eddie has the hunting experience. The opportunity to learn from somebody as knowledgeable as Eddie will enable Andy to build and hone his field craft. So today I'm using the Air Arms Galahad, it's the high power regulated version in 2.2. I like this rifle on this type of shooting, especially when there's a bit of wind. It's going to be tough today, so I want to make sure I can get the pellet through the branches to it. It's going to be moving a bit, so a bit more power, a bit more hitting power for these squirrels, it's what I need. Cocking lever, um, a lot of people will have it on the left hand side where it comes, I've moved it to the right. I prefer it on the right for when I'm aiming. I can just move my arm. I ain't got to take it away from my eye. Scope, Hawk Air Max, 4B16B50. Like the Sidewinder, I prefer this with the half mil dot. I do have the advantage of the illuminated reticle, especially in low light. So this is definitely my choice for when I'm shooting in low light. We've got the Air Arms 10 shot rotary magazine. I've never had any problems with this. It's been faultless since I've been shooting with the Air Arms rifle, so there's no need to change that at all. It's regulated, so no problem about shot-to-shot -shot consistency. The air arms, air arms regulator is perfect. I've been asked quite a lot about the thermal. This is the Pulsar Quantum Light. It's the XQ30V model. I prefer this one, not just for in, in the woods, 
but out in the fields for the rabbits. 100 yards, you've got, you've got no problem with this. You can see them under bushes, everywhere. It just lets you know roughly where you've got to stalk up to. And especially in these woods now with the squirrels, I could pick up a paw just on the side of a branch. As long as I can see a little paw, I can find the squirrel. It is a job for me to clear up, so I use everything I can to get the ice numbers possible. It's Andy's turn once more, and he's keen to get off the mark. This time, there's no mistake, and Andy takes his first squirrel of the day. The rifle I'm using today is my Air Arms S200. Uh, this is one of my firm favourites. Just a single shot, so every, each time you just cock the bolt, pop a pellet in. Um, I get about 50 shots out of this. It's not regulated. It's not really something that I've noticed. 50 shots are as consistent as, as anything really. And top of the S200, I've got a Hawk Air Max. This is the 4 to 12 by 40, 25 mil tube. Uh, and they're held on with some low sports match mounts. Got a silencer on the end, just keeps the muzzle cracked down a bit, especially when you're shooting in, in these woods sometimes. Things can be a little bit skittish, but it does a really good job of quieting that muzzle crack down. Cracking rifle. Eddie spots another rabbit in the pulsar, and Andy moves into position for the shot, slowly and deliberately. It's a superb freehand shot, resulting in a perfect headshot and another rabbit in the bag. Brimming with confidence, Andy makes another outstanding elevated shot. Well, we've come to an end again. The wind's getting a bit too blustery now. There's branches falling all around us, so for safety reasons, we're going to call it a day. We've had a few squirrels. We've lost a lot of squirrels in drays, running in holes. So it's just one of them days. We could have had another 10 squirrels, at least, with what we've seen. But unfortunately, they've eluded us and got in got out of the way. Again, we don't shoot in drays, you never know if there's a red squirrel in there, so Andy's finished off with a nice rabbit stalk there as well. It was brilliant to watch. Got really nice close to it, didn't rush the shot, he made sure he was clear, so perfect end to the day that was. So, thanks very much for Andy for coming. Great.